Welcome to Flourish ICT Academy. Today I want to teach you how to insert watermark into your document. Uh, you might be wondering that what is watermark? What is it all about? What is it being used for? Watermark is very important in a document to identify the owner of document to prevent unauthorized duplication of document. That is why you will often see it on a letterhead paper. You will see either as a text or you see it as image. So you can have a logo in the word as a watermark. You can also use text as a watermark. So I'll be showing you in this lesson how to insert a custom watermark on your document. Okay, so I want to encourage you to watch to the end watch to the end and if you have any question about the lesson we are doing today don't hesitate uh, to put that in the comment section now let's go ahead and then do that with microsoft word now microsoft word is open on my system as you can see on the screen so remember you go to your menu on the menu bar we have what you can do with file you have what you can do under home we have discussed all of that in our previous lessons you might want to check my page uh, the YouTube page for more of the videos on Microsoft Word uh, in case you have not watched any of the previous one. So now today, if you are using Microsoft Office 2019 as I am using right now, this is Microsoft Word 2019. There is a, a slight difference on the menu bar, okay? If you look at this menu bar, this is menu bar for 2019. And then uh, I show you another menu bar for 2010. So for 2019, the uh, watermark we are going to be using is under design. But in Microsoft Office 2010, which means you are using Microsoft Word 2010, the watermark is actually under page layout, page layout. So in case your office is different, because what I'm showing you, I'm using 2019, Microsoft Word 2019. Let it not be that. Uh, you come to design on your system and you cannot find it. So if you don't find it in design, you are going to find it as a page layout. Page layout is a menu on its own, okay, on a Microsoft Word. After home insert, the next thing you are going to have if you are using Office 2010 is page layout. So, but in 2019, I think from 2013, uh, 2016, and 2019, including 2021, uh, Microsoft has decided to separate uh, to remove page layout and then just call it layout. Okay, so what we most of the tools that you have under the page layout menu has now been put under design, and one of them is watermark, page color, page border. These three were used to be in uh, under page layout menu before, but now they are under design. So take note of that. So we are going to come to design. That is where we are going to uh, work from. If you come to design, then you pick your watermark. This is our screen. Now, you look at this watermark, it has a drop down. This button that you're seeing on the screen is telling us that there are more tools that you can access under this watermark. We, are, we have a default watermark that Microsoft has put there by default. Let's look at them. Let me click on this, and then you are going to see uh, what the definition how microsoft define watermark are uh, compared to what i've given to you initially when i put my cursor on the watermark you can see the definition so it is defined as a ghost text okay such such as confidential urgent behind the content on the page so you must ensure that look at the example of how it looks like draft for example in this screen right now is a watermark that draft is a watermark we refer to as a ghost text okay which is put behind the content on the page and you must ensure that it is fainted enough in order not to interrupt the content meaning that if you use a watermark ensure that it is not so dark to the extent that people want to read the document they cannot read the, do uh, the, the content of the document so the faint watermark is a great way to show that the document require special treatment without distracting from the content. So it must not distract the content. So when you are formatting it, which I'm going to show you, you must ensure that you use the color 
okay, and you use semi-transparent to ensure that whether you are using text or you are using image, it is not interrupting with the key content on the page. So that is it. You can either put your watermark after you have typed a text or before you type a text. So you can have your watermark before or after you have typed a text. So I'm going to demonstrate that to you right now, even before I type any text on this page. And thereafter, we are going to put some text on it so that you see how it looks like. Then it's also important for me to say it here that we have two types of watermarks. You can use a text watermark or you can use a logo or image in the background of your water as a watermark, in the background of your document as a watermark, either text or logo. So by default, let's look at this. If I click this, by default, you can see confidential. If I click on this uh, drop down, the arrow button that you can see here, you are going to see some example, confidential, for example. Now, this is a watermark in diagonal uh, design. You can have it as horizontal, as you can see on the screen. So you either to make a choice whether you want it to be diagonal or you want it to be horizontal. So if what the document you are actually working on is just confidential, that's what you want to put in the background. You don't need to do more work. All you need to do, very simple, come to watermark, Okay, and then click confidential. Then you have the watermark display on your page. As you can see there is no text on this document. And right now I have a ghost text in the background called confidential. So whether you have typed the text before you insert the watermark or you are just going to type the text, it does not matter. So for example, now I have some text that I typed over there. Now I just paste the text on this page. And then let's take a look at how it is. Now you can see from my document, you can see that the background is still there and it's not interrupting with whatever you want to read on this page. Uh, so that is how it works. Then we can change the watermark as well. Remember, we go to design and then under the watermark, you click the drop down. Then you can select horizontal. As you can see from this document, when I select the horizontal, you can see how it looks like. So that is how test watermark is all about. But these are the default watermark put there by Microsoft. This is an ex another example. Do not copy. Now, what if I want to use my name or company name as watermark? What exactly am I going to use or what is going to happen to that? So that uh, in this training today, I want to show you how to use a custom watermark instead of the default watermark that we have as confidential. Do not copy. These are just the two default uh text that has been put, that has been pre-designed for us. So you can either use confidential diagonal, you can use horizontal, or you can use do not copy. So what you need to do is come to watermark and then come over to custom watermark. If you don't want this watermark to show on your document again, you use remove watermark. As you can see, the watermark is gone. So I come to custom watermark and then you click on custom watermark. The custom watermark will enable you to be able to use your own text, okay? It could be your company name that you want to use as a watermark or something else entirely. So you come over and click custom watermark and this will also enable you to be able to use your logo and image as a watermark. So let's see how it works. Now, if I click on custom watermark, you're going to have this dialog box. On this dialog box, the first option you have there is no watermark. I'd like you to take note of the three radio buttons that we have there. You cannot use the three, you, meaning that you cannot click on the three at the same time. You can only use one at a time. So when you click on no watermark, it means no watermark. If you click on picture watermark, it means you are using picture watermark. As at that time, you cannot use text watermark. So in the same page, on the same document, you cannot use both the text and picture watermark together in Microsoft Word. So take note of that. Decide whether you are using text or picture. So let's start with the one at the top, picture watermark. If I click on picture watermark, then I have the option to select picture. This means that I will go to the location of my system where the picture that I want to use is located. Okay, and then I will go there to pick it up. Click on select picture, right? If I click on select picture, it's asking me whether I want to insert the picture from the internet, okay? You might see this option. Uh, you need an internet connection. You don't need all of this. Click on walk offline. Assuming this is the logo that I want to use, email logo I want to use in the background. 
okay i will go ahead and pick this particular one the envelope as my logo and then i insert it now what after you inserted it is going to show you the part of the logo that this logo is on a user's profile in picture folder okay this is the logo call email in picture folder now this k i will advise that you leave it as auto this case is telling you how big should the logo be in the document. This watermark that you want to use, how big should it be? So the best thing is to leave it as auto. Auto means Microsoft will automatically adjust that logo to the normal size it's supposed to be. Okay, so that your watermark is not too big, occupying, or is not too small. However, if you don't like the way it is, you can actually come back and then change it from auto to scale it up to whatever so if the current size for example the resolution of that logo is 100 by 100 you are scaling it up by 200 percent meaning that you are increasing it up by 500 so it depends if you want it to be so big on your page you can actually come over here and scale it now before we scale it up let's first of all click ok okay and then uh we are going to see how it looks when i click ok uh, take a look of how it looks like this is the size currently and you can see it on my document now let's go back to custom watermark and then i'm going to drive drag this aside i will edit it right now without clicking ok we'll just click apply so that we can see how it looks on our document so now let's start with auto again i want to make it to be 150 apply can you see now it become smaller okay so if i make it 200 what happened okay it's going back to normal 500 apply so now it has actually not looking like a is a watermark anyway but it's not looking like an image that has occupied the entire screen so you might want to do just like this there is no problem about that so i'm just trying to show you what the scale is all about you can scale up or scale down or preferably you go with auto which is a default so you make your choice of whatever you want to do then we have the wash out option this is telling you how uh, to wash out the picture to make it faint if you don't click on the wash out you are going to have the original picture the quality of that picture uh, so and that may interrupt the text so that's the why we have the option to wash out so that it's not going to interrupt with the text you can see with this watermark, I can still read the text that is there. Individual training, we strongly believe this. Anyone who stop learning is old, whether 20 or 80. And anyone that keeps learning, stay young. That's Henry Ford, a uh, quote over there. Now, let's do a washout. We uncheck the washout, and then I click apply. Now, you can see what happened. So, this is why you need the washout in order to help you to wash out the image you have used as your watermark not to interrupt with the content which is very important because if you have an interruption with the content what then is the essence of the watermark people will not be able to read your text so that is why it is always good to use wash out and then we apply you can see the difference so this is fine now let's go quickly to the last aspect of it, which is text watermark remember i said it you cannot use picture and text watermark together. If you are using picture watermark, you are going with picture. If you are using text watermark, then you click on text radio button. After you have clicked on the drop down arrow on the watermark, and then you come over to uh, currently what we have here is a sharp. Okay, I click apply. You can see what is showing on the screen. But this is not what I want. So I will come under to text because under text watermark, you have the language talking about it's going to automatically pick the language on your system that your system is my system for example is configured with english united kingdom okay so the text what I, type of text i want to change it to for example i'm typing in capital letter ict academy now i have the option to change the font so the font that is going to display this font you are seeing as a watermark font currently is uh calibre so you can change the font if you really want to do so the same way you come to home and then you change the font remember we have discussed a lot about what font is all about okay so you can change the font to whatever you want to change it to so we've discussed about the font in the some of the previous lessons that i have done you might want to watch that video so you come over to font and then you change the font you have the option for 
different type of fund. But I'm going to leave the default fund, which is Calibre. Then the size, auto. Remember, this K for the picture watermark, we use auto. This time around to you, I will advise that you use auto. If you don't want the auto, then you can increase the font, okay, to whatever size. This is talking about the font size of your watermark when you are doing custom watermark. So I'm going to leave it as auto. Also, you have the option for color. What does this mean? You can change the color. This is gray color that we use to write uh, the watermark is going to come out in gray color. You might not want the gray color and use another color. You can also do that from this drop down. You can select your color. Then semi transparent is working like wash out. So instead of the color to come out in full color, okay, it's going to make it semi transparent in order to, not to interrupt with the content on your page. So what we do now, let's click apply and see. Now you can see Flourish ICT Academy. Now you might actually uh, want to increase the font if it's not looking uh, coming out the way you want it. I don't know what uh, current font size that was used because it is auto. So let me try with 40 and then I click apply. So, so I can be looking at the page and see what happened. Okay, apply with 54. I will go ahead again and pick, uh, let me see, 72, okay, and then I click apply, yeah. So you might want to leave it like this. So if I don't, what happens if I uncheck semi-transparent and I apply? Okay, so you can see, it's still uh, looking good, meaning that it's not interrupting because the test is black and the watermark is gray color. What happens if we change the color from gray to something else, maybe to green? Okay, this is... Uh, and I click apply, so you can see right now. So you can change the color to whatever color you want to use. This is light green, this is deep green. Let's use red and see what happened to that, apply. Okay, now no semi-transparent. So you can see what happened. This time around, people are actually, uh, this is going to distract them from the main content. So this is not a good way of doing your watermark. So click on semi-transparent and then click apply. So you can see, even this color is too shouting on the page. So uh, preferably, go with the default color. I'm just showing you this so that you can see different options that you have. The default color that we have is actually the gray color on the screen. So go with that, and then you are good to go with your watermark. So those are the options that you have. Like I said, you can use a picture watermark, you can use text watermark, and then you can format the watermark based on your option whether you use washout if you are working with image or you go ahead and do diagonal or horizontal with text as well and you can change the color you can change the font so the choice is yours okay so do that and if you have any question don't hesitate to reach out so if you have not subscribed to this channel i want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscription button now so you can be notified when i upload another lesson Thank you for taking your learning journey with Flourish ICT Academy. See you in the next lesson. Bye.